See, as far as amenities, as far as infrastructure, uh, training, everything is concerned, definitely one of the top uh, private institutions of the whole of South and the whole of the country. Hi guys, and today we have a very special guest, Dr. Rakshita, an ENT specialist recently passed out from MVJ Medical College and Hospital, Bangalore. Thank you for joining. Hi Shivam, thank you for having me. And today we will talk about her experiences while pursuing MBBS from Manipal University. So let's begin. Firstly, like how was the first day at your college? Wow, first day of MBBS. Um, I think it was a lot of confusion. It was a lot of excitement about getting in and uh, definitely a lot of being lost. I mean, uh, so first year in MBBS uh, in Manipal University, the first year building is a different building uh, which has an attached hostel and from second year onwards you are in a different building. And uh, in the first year building, we have a separate area which is the anatomy dissection lab and the area associated with that used to be the nursing uh, sort of uh, uh, area. So, uh, looking at the schedule and figuring out where what goes and where everybody needs to be, the first day was chaos. <laughs> but, oh my god, so much excitement, so much excitement. Okay, and how is your college, like your UG college, different from the other colleges in the state? Um, Shivam Karnataka has a lot of medical colleges and uh, Manipal University is one of the deemed universities that are there. And uh, definitely as far as amenities, as far as infrastructure, uh, training, everything is concerned, definitely one of the top uh, private institutions of the whole of South and the whole of the country, definitely. So it stands at its own uh, sort of, uh, you know, excellence, I would say. Okay. And how is the course curriculum in your college? Like your UG college had an atmosphere similar to the school where you have a strict discipline or it was a relaxed atmosphere because it was a college life. How was it? Uh, I think uh, the first year building is different from the second year as I mentioned. So uh, first year was a little more strict I think uh, and uh, from second year onwards there was a little more relaxed kind of a thing but again uh, in first year the number of students is very limited so I think those those factors play a role but of course everybody has stepped out of 12th standard everybody has gotten their medical you know uh, clearance and starting their degrees so yeah it's it's pretty relaxed it's not like very stringent very strict kind of an environment it's it's very very much like a professional university how it should be okay and now I'll ask a few specific things about the college like uh, could you please tell about the campus there okay um, yeah I mean the first year or be the second year onwards campus definitely a huge place there's just uh, so much that you could do there there's there's a food arena and everything it's it becomes a family you know like you get to know all the people who work there and they know you by first name and you know the auntie saves you with her maggie when there's no uh, food in the canteen or you know you're running late, late from classes or uh, before your exams it's it's the the campus is like a living organism of itself Mangalore campus is amazing. Okay. And what do you have to tell about the teaching faculty there? Wow. I mean, uh, I think the reason why I took up my residency, why I was so sure that I wanted to be in a surgical field, uh, everything that I learned about history taking or uh, clinical examination in patients, how, uh, you know, a good clinical exam cannot beat, uh, you know, ultrasounds or any of the new... Uh, radiology advancements and stuff everything I learned everything from my professors in Manipal I think I owe them all of my uh, sort of uh, medical advancement so far and forward uh, in life the faculty there are just mind-blowing they're really really good be it any subject uh, starting from anatomy all the way till uh, pediatrics OBG in, in final year you will find at least one person in the department who will who will inspire you to take up the field for the rest of your life so uh, the faculty is amazing. Okay, so you have passed out from that college, but how was the atmosphere there like with the seniors? Students normally have a fear about ragging and this senior, senior junior relationship. So what do you have to say about it? Um, ragging, I think by the time I joined, the whole ragging scene was pretty much down. There was no 
uh, you know, uh, there were very stringent uh, actions against people who would rag and stuff. But uh, we would interact with our seniors. I mean, we had clinical postings where we would be posted with our senior uh, batches as well. So we would have a lot of uh, interaction with them. Of course, I understand that, uh, you know, uh, a whole chunk of what used to be very um, sort of intimidated from our seniors and if they'll scold us or say something and things like that. It's, it's a momentary thing, uh, Shivam. The minute you talk to them, you realize everyone in medicine is just waiting to guide you in the right direction. It's just a matter of asking, you know, it's just a matter of being humble and uh, being down to earth and just ask what is the right way forwards because the Gurukul system never leaves medicine, uh, Shivam. So whatever it is, I do as my seniors did, they do as their seniors did. So the senior junior culture continues. I have seen do juniors who, uh, you know, are just absolutely fantastic and just, uh, you know, overall enjoy uh, the whole pack of our batch, their own batch. It's a beautiful relationship. And I think every medical college ends up having great senior junior relationships. True that. And what about the hostel life and the mess food there? Wow. Okay. Um, hostel life, it's a whole thing. I mean, I'm sure every medical student will agree. MBBS hostel life is something that you cannot replace for your life. It's, it's a family that you'll make away from family and in fact pretty much all my MBBS friends who were best friends back then are my best friends even now. So uh, medical uh, sort of uh, hostel life becomes your second family. So definitely one of the best experiences. Uh, as far as amenities per se in Manipal is concerned, yes they have their reading room. Uh, all the rooms used to have really good uh, sort of uh, uh, interiors and things. Everything was made very comfortable for uh, the right environment for study and uh, things like that. So uh, definitely. As far as mess is concerned, yeah, I mean we used to have a lot of variety. Uh, you could uh, buy food if you know you want a little more non-veg or a couple options used to be there so that you could keep a tab in the uh, in the mess. So um, yeah, overall it was a great experience. Okay, so the last question would be that what is your advice for the juniors who would be watching this video and looking forward to join this college in the upcoming years? Um, something to look forward to, I think, would definitely be the campus and how inspiring it is overall and how no matter how much you think it does or does not, a piece of your MBBS campus life and your uh, five and a half years with the faculty and your friends is something that will mold the rest of your medical career. So uh, definitely that is that is something that you will cherish. So not to give in to the pressure to do well or to always study and you know not do extracurriculars, no. Manipal gives you the opportunity to take part in extracurricular activities in the college, outside of college, uh, you know, intercollegiate fests and things like that, uh, or be it sports. I think it's a it's a holistic development. So that's something that students can look forward to uh, when they take up this college. Okay. And what advice uh, would you give to the juniors who will be looking forward to enter into a UG college? So what all factors they should actually check in before choosing a college? Uh, for undergrad, I think uh, the most important thing is to remember that three-fourths of your day and your entire whatever uh, five and a half years is going to be in college or studying for exams and semesters and things like that. So it's very important to see how the library is, uh, you know, how the amenities around the library is, um, you know, what kind of classes are uh, taken and how uh, the classes are taken by the faculty and things like that as opposed to uh, tidbit things like whether it's in the center of the city, whether you have access to malls and things. I, I really don't think that um, unlike other branches and other um, uh, fields, uh, I think choosing a medical college, these are more important uh, as an undergrad student. Okay, and what do you have to say about the post-grad aspirants? Um, for post-graduation, I think the most important question that you need to find out when you are sort of zeroing down, of course, as far as Karnataka is concerned, more often than not, uh, when you go in for seat selection, it's a random allocation. So you don't really get to choose which college that you, that you get into. But if you do get the opportunity to choose, then definitely the patient load, that's one. And uh, if 
it is about uh, surgical branches like ENT or uh, general surgery, then definitely the cutting chances. I think Shivam overall, uh, be it any uh, medical uh, course, be it uh, UG or PG, it's very important to speak to people from that particular institute or speak to seniors in general, you know. Now we have Instagram, we have Facebook, we have so many ways of connecting with people. So I think it's a good idea for our viewers to kind of reach out to people who have been in the college or are currently in the college and kind of have a one-on-one -on -one interaction of how the branch is or how the subject is and then uh, choose the college as opposed to choosing it based on things like, uh, you know, the amenities that it provides or just the overall, uh, you know, sort of portrayal that uh, the, the college has on uh, various platforms. Okay. So that was a pretty informative session with Dr. Rakshita and I hope the audience learned a lot of things, a lot of technical stuff from this video. Thank you, Dr. Rakshita. Thank you, Shivam. Thank you so much.